Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion for 3DS. Last time, I've, uh, well, I mean, I've been listening to the Mario Brothers theme for the past 27 hours. Help. Anyway, let's move on with our adventure finally, eh? Also, I've got, I've got, like, major cable management I gotta do now. Because, uh, my, my recordings at 3DS almost died. Like, right at the end of the last episode, I would have lost everything and, be, and been real upsetty spaghetti. Anyway, let's go into this room, which is debatably one of my least favorite rooms in this entire game. Which is saying something, considering I love this game to death. I don't remember if I've said it at this point, but this is my favorite. This this game is my favorite GameCube game. Anyway, also I know in this room that there is a spirit. We can also pick up those bananas. I remember their name now. They're called Speedy Spirits. Go ahead and give me that entire tablecloth, big guy. Got him! That's one of that's one of twelve. But yeah, you do want to capture these because man, they give you some good rewards, and we'll want those to help us get that max rank. Also, don't go too far. Because I. Good lord. Is there a man in there? All I see is tub. Tub of blubber even. Oh, there it is. There's also a cheese wedge in here. Uh, help. Okay. Let's turn left. Yep, there was a mouse in here too. Anyway, gather up all these coins. Back up to this gold bar. And this money. Anyway. There we go. Anyway, you want to... Basically, you want to light his candle so we can have a nice feast. And then here's the part that's going to kind of suck, is... You need to suck up his food. The servants will come up. And then you need to suck up the servants so they can't restock his food. Okay, let's try that again. I, uh. But yeah, once you suck up his servants, or suck up his servants, he can no longer get re food refills on his massive amounts of chicken fried rice. And once you drain his plate, he gets a little upsetting. And then just be prepared to do a little dance with him. He's gonna spit fireballs. When he gets tired out, that when he's gonna get tired out, and that's when you, that's your time to strike. I would just say bait him down here this way, and just be ready to move in. It's a lot of fireballs before he gets tired out, like ten plus, I think. Come on, buddy. You can't have that much energy left in you. Ooh, they're getting faster, though. But because there's a huge table in the way, he is kind of a rough ghost to get down. Because there's a good chance he will pull you across the table. I, would, I think his name is Mr. Chubbs, but like this is probably one of the hardest ghosts to get a gold rank on. Not because of what leads into him getting, uh, it leads, uh, you leads into you capturing him, but the fact that he can so easily just run you across the table and make it so you can't capture him. And it's not really like testament to, it's not really like against the programmers, it's just the fact of how tethering to a big ghost works in this game. So, whatever. Oh, he's out. He's tuckered out. There we go. Sucked him up finally. It took me forever, but I got him. 
Anyway, uh, at this point, make sure I got all the pearls. Cause I think there was there it is. Oh, there. It is. No, don't leave the room, sir. Thank you. <laughs> that was the panic of the century right there. But there we go. Capture that boo. Also, I feel like they changed his dialogue here. I don't think he ever said you... you he ever, I don't think he ever said, You move as smoothly as water. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop this. And what do you know? Money. I love it. It's delicious. It makes me happy. And, ooh, Diamundo. Diamond is not crush. This is cubic zirconium. Ah, <laughs> oh, science jokes. Anyway, at this point, there are no more keys in the rest of this area. Also, you're going to want to take a minute to go not only protect yourself from flying pots and pans, but you're going to want to open... You done? Ow. I knew I had a feeling there's another speedy spirit. Always be wary of speedy spirits, no matter where you are. Man, luck's turning up good finally. Are you done throwing the kitchen sink at me yet? Now, I don't, now even though this is the kitchen, I don't think there's another wedge of cheese in here. Come here. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, nothing there. So, you might be thinking, but, hey, where's where's the progression? Well, it's not in there. Basically, the progression in this room is to check the fridge. What a jerk. Anyway, that's another ice ghost, so just... The easiest way to take care of him would just be to tap fire on him. Just tap fire on him until he goes away. And there you go. And in this and in this particular chest, we get a water medal. Oh boy, I like water. Hello. Hey now, Luigi. What, now what if you stumble the crust? Oh, this time it's the water elemental. Elemental medal. Can I use the water elements? My research shows that these particular elemental ghosts leave their watery dwellings whenever you approach. So you know the drill. Vacuum up. Use L to expel them after you vacuumed. If you press and hold L, you press and hold L, you can press A to shoot out a big ball of water. I can also do this with fireballs, but they don't mention it. Hey, that so ghosts are going to be defeated with water. Actually, also remember that water has purifying properties, so use it well. Don't get too caught up with the new squirt gun, Luigi. Oh, but I must. For you see, at this point... Oh wait, hold on, before I soak him up. There? A boo. A fireballs. A boo. A boo fireballs. A boo fireballs. A boo fireballs. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having too much fun. Anyway. Let me go and suck up a water spirit. And now at this point we find a boo. But before we open the door over there. Oh, hold on. You. Ah, boo ball. Let me just take care of you really quick. Hold on. All right, you're on the table. You were on the table. Boy, howdy, I'm Bul I'm Bulahan. But you can't go that way. That's not a permitted area out there. I'm sorry, my friendly Boo. Anyway, as I was saying before, I really got interrupted by a Boo. Plants in this mansion could use some attention as long as you're clean. Yeah, that. Most people who are playing this game, myself included, kind of just glazed over that bit of information. So, now that you have the access to water, you're going to water some stuff. Which I'm going to take a minute to do one specific, one plant in specific. So, pretty much at the end of every single chapter in this now, from now until the end, you're going to want to take care of this plant by watering it. 
and it only resets between chapters. This time when I do the project, I'm going to make sure to actually... I'll make sure to actually water it. Anyway, this is going to be a little dumb, but we're going to take a lap around the place the rooms we have been, find any plants that we can, and water them, because they will reward us for our time. But you can only water one plant at a time, and yeah. Excuse me. Oh, delicious drink. Now I'm not sure if I'll cut, I'm not sure if I'll cut around or if I'll speed this whole thing up while I'm looking for plants. Oh, there is one. But I would say just for now, while you're doing it, do this and then switch over to the water. Uh, apparently it's not a plant. <laughs> Listen, I see I saw flowers in it. It's a plant. Now I don't think there's anything plant-wise in those two rooms. So let's go check. I think it's mainly up top, but I... Yeah, because I don't think there was a plant in this room over here, or to this side. Uh, not, no plants... No other plants we can deal down this way. Let me just think for a minute. Yeah, no other plants down this way, so it's mainly just upstairs. So let's head upstairs even, after I use the strobe bulb. And also, also unfortunately, using your gun to water things does drain a lot of water. So you might be making multiple trips. Anyway, actually, I don't know how long this will take, but I'm just gonna go ahead and spit jump around here while I find while I find plants to water. I know at least where some are. Here you go, some plants to water. Just keep on spraying things on them, and eventually they will cough up their goodies. Good way to make some money. Oh. Sorry, Toad, I gotta water look toad I took up gardening in my spare time don't judge me ah oh, there's a large lovely plant for me to water and probably run out of water while I take care of it ooh a green gem an emerald even I'll take it let's look at our gold see how much I'm looking at oh also that's a status screen for everything we've collected so far yeah, four emeralds not bad unfortunately it doesn't give us our total gold count I don't think Oh, you can actually look through stuff on that. That's interesting. But can I look at the money? I can't look at the money. Alright. Well, I don't need to focus on the money. I just need to focus on everything else. Which actually, I think I've already looked at every single plant. So, I guess at this point, we're just going to go out back even. Because as I said, there are no, there were no more keys for the rest of this particular area or, or chapter. Chapter 2. So that basically leaves it so all that we have left to do is to go to that outside area to progress forward. Now, I do recommend you have water because you are going to need water. So go ahead and soak up from this big sink here. Get some big drink. Uh, I didn't expect this big heart to come out. Okay, thanks. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give the puppy some water. Here you go, boy. Don't hey, I try to take care of you. Bad puppy. Uh oh. Fido. Bad Fido. <laughs> Don't touch. Uh, let me go, me puppy. Bad. Anyway. So the puzzle here is we need to feed the puppy some water, and then this ghost skeleton will pop out, and then this bone will pop out. And once the puppy sees the sees the bone, he becomes vulnerable. I'm sorry, Mr. Puppy. I love you, but I also... Oh, wow. What happened there? I guess the controls got buggered with me. Look, just play with your bone. There we go. That took way too much effort. Oh, well, thankfully, thanks to the new age, you know, welcome to it. They actually make that camera zoom in on 
on the, uh, there we go. They make the camera zoom in on the doghouse to basically guide you directly to the next, to the next point you need to go to. Much like the mouse hole, take a picture of it, in you go. I don't think there's any more booze left outside, out in this chapter either, so. Now before we go any further, pound on the storm drain. Get yourself a rubble. Also, the lights are still off out here, so... You need to go back, just go in that trunk, just go in this tree stump here. I'm just making sure there's nothing behind it. Alright, big heart. Big heart. I'm waiting for the big skeleton. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go up behind this thing. Because you don't ever get to look behind this, actually. You also get to take a picture of this, actually. Wow. Why is Luigi so down to earth? Another big heart. What about this one? I've angered the bones! Just get in my vacuum, please. Man, you've also got a big heart. Good thing I stunned you for so freaking long here. Now, something I will say, because the fire there are fire spirits out here. Don't worry. Don't worry if you happen to suck up a fire spirit at this point. It's not relevant to the boss fight. Which, oops, there's a boss fight. Yeah, it's located in that. So anyway, if you had not been dumb like me and uh, saved some of these gravestones, you could have had yourself a nice 100 health going to the boss fight, but I don't, so... Go ahead and walk right on up to this guy. Well, I don't remember your name, but I do remember that you are kind of a pain. So this particular ghost is is infamous for being an annoying boss fight. Not as annoying as another boss fight here, but it's an it's annoying of a boss fight. <sighs> but how do I put this lightly? You kids like Shadow Tag? Basically, suck up the shadow, then aim it at him and fire it at him, and then you can start sucking him up. Now this boss fight sucks because it will just kind of be random chance if you get it right. Anyway, suck up a spirit and then look for the real one. Now looking for the real one is not that bad because you can see it because his uh, shadow, he actually has a shadow on the ground. He has an actual shadow on the ground that will grow in length to lead you to a ghost in uh, one of his shadows in question. And I press B, and then we're just going to look around here, try and find him. Now, I believe the, if you grab a larger spirit, it is more beneficial, because they will actually keep, let you soak him up, suck, uh, suck him up for longer. Long range shot! Oof. Uh, let's try that again, even. Long range shot! Oh, at one health, really? Sucks. So yeah, he's a rough boss, but he's not a hard boss. Anyway, I'm just gonna walk around. Where's your shadow? Where's No, where's the actual you, I should say? Oh, there he was. And then he disappeared. Nope, we're done here. Good boss fight, though, buddy. Like I said, it's a little bit annoying, but it's not that bad of a boss fight. Anyway, anything else that you wanted to do or need to do, you want to do it now for Area 2 before you pop this open, but I, you shouldn't really have much left to do, so... Oh, oh wait, actually we have to touch the front of it. I forgot. New mechanics. And get that Clover Key. And with that, that clears up Area 2. Hi, Egad. 
Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you're still okay. I lost your signal when that lightning struck. Hmm, that was some battle you had there. Why don't you come back to the lab? What? You think the lightning damaged the poltergeist? Don't worry about it. Even if the lightning had cooked your goose, your poltergeist 3000 wouldn't have even had a scratch. <laughs> wow, I am so cared for. Thanks, Egad. Hey, what if I just took your poltergeist and threw it away? Oh, right, I have to say Mario. Looks like we got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say we put them through the old ghost, ghost por portificationizer? What is with your naming nomenclatures? I don't understand you, you strange small baby man. But as you, you've seen this once, we've seen this many times. Even the te wow, that's actually kind of okay. I like that. Uh, like that's dumb, but it's I actually. They also kept the same text from the GameCube game. So the boss silver, really? I guess I goofed up on the information on the boss. By the way, the boss's portrait color will ref is reflective of how many of how much health you lost while fighting it. So gold fighting. I think it was a gold for Melody. That's a silver for Mr. Bogues or Mr. Mr. B Buddy. A silver for the dog? Really? I thought that one was just as rough. Anyway. Well, I'd imagine this goes back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. How many ghosts have I caught? Lugs. Anyway. The floating whirl whirlindas. Really pianissima. Very soft. Shivers. Spooky. Good name for your dog, by the way. At Bogmire. That's I can never remember his name. Woo, I've caught I've caught so many ghosts. An hour playtime and twenty million? That counts everything I've touched, right? Oh yeah, that counts everything I've touched. There we go. Twenty six million. Anyway. Everyone I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode. Let's play Luigi's Mansion on Nintendo 3DS. Come back next time, and we'll re-enter the house for more goodies and whatnot. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care.